All right, hey guys, Chase Tech here. I'm currently sitting in my local Dollar General's parking lot. And the T-Mobile Tower is, you're not gonna be able to see it, but right over there, that little tower, kinda hard to see. So we're gonna run some T-Mobile 5G speed tests here. And just see what we can get. 34 millisecond ping. And ooh, we're going down, okay. That's kind of what I was hoping to see, 140, 145, 150, 60, 180, 184 down. Oh, we connected to the car's Wi-Fi. I don't want to show that just in case. Okay. All right. Sorry about that. It kind of latched onto the car's Wi-Fi. So don't want that. All right, so now we're going 130, 140. So yeah, it gets going pretty good. 170 megabits. I was getting 210 at my house. But I'm looking to see, yeah, wow. Okay, that's kind of why I came here. So at my house, the upload speed is about, uh, is around the uh, like 30 to 40 megabit mark. And here I'm getting 96 and a half up. Run that again. I do have, so I am traveling to Madison in the next couple of weeks, so I have signed up for all carriers. Uh, T-Mobile, I was able to just get the test drive, because this is a new phone. Um, and I have Verizon as my main carrier, and at and is my secondary, so. I have all four carriers ready to go, well, other than Dish, I guess. But I really want to see 100 up, but I just don't think it'll do it. Now, some of you may have noticed, I am in low power mode. And that's because if I go out of low power mode, it will actually connect to the SA 5G. And especially in my area where I live, that connection is much slower than the uh, SA 5G. So, I mean, we're getting 140 megabits. And we'll walk inside here in just a minute, just see what we can get, I mean. So the upload speed is, actually, it's pretty good. I wonder if it hasn't latched on to the SA. Because, I mean, we're getting 97 up, which is, I mean, that's phenomenal. I might as well just come here and upload my YouTube videos. Like my super big ones. <laughs> All right. So let's just change the server. So we'll go to, like, mid-continent. I just turned my blinker on. <laughs> Oops. So we'll just change that. Yeah, it's still a really good download speed. 150, 160. I mean, and this isn't even, I don't know, if, this isn't even 5G UC. This is just N71 with uh, LTE. Pretty good. I don't know the bandwidth in my area. I believe it's 15 megahertz for 5G and then 50 megahertz for band 2. And then it's, we've got 71 and 12 and all that other stuff, but. Well, I really wanted to see 100, but it, it's not going to do it, sadly. So. I was gonna go get some snacks inside because I'm gonna test this tomorrow at school. But I think I'm gonna hold off. But I'm gonna, we'll try going, we'll just do T-Mobile one more time. And I'll kind of point it this way just to see if pointing it a different direction helps. But I mean, I'm moving it literally not by much. So yeah, it does that sometimes, where it'll just drop down for no reason. So now we're only getting 146, which could just be a fluke test. I mean, we never know. 95 up though, incredible. So that is freaking awesome. All right, thank you guys for watching. Um, I will see you hopefully soon with some more. Of course, because I focus. I will see you again with some more speed test videos coming very soon. I'm gonna head on into the Dollar General and maybe I'll record some footage of me walking around in there and see what kind of speeds we get. And now we're inside, so I'm just kind of set up here. Yeah, wow. 140. 
That is freaking awesome. Wow, okay. 206 down. Uploads lower though, only 45. 40 up? 41? Huh. Anyway, I think that's gonna do it for this speed test video. Again, this is the iPhone 13 Pro. And I will see you probably very soon with more speed test videos, whether it be AT&T, Verizon, T-Mobile. I've got all carriers. So I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.